Got it. I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Play. Well, today we're going to be back with some axe throwing. We're going to talk about some battle axes. I've got three different models and I'll show you right here. We're just going to have some fun with this stuff. Just no big deal. Nothing on teaching this, that, whatever. But here are the three I've got. This one is a JXE JXO. Again, these are battle axes because of the way they are. This point isn't quite as tall as what most are. But uh, I'll show you one that is because I designed this one and it was an anthurium right here. And that eagle, and that, I even picked out the design for it and everything else. This one is, like I said, my design. And we're going to use this one first, but first I'm going to show you the third one we've got. This is a cold steel. It's a Templar. And it also has the sharp handle. So just about anywhere you hit it, it's going to stick. And we're going to throw all three of these designs. I've got eight of them in all. And we're going to see what we do as far as sticking them in there. But first, we're going to take this one. And we've got a dog food can sitting down there. We're going to see what sort of damage it will do to that can if it can hit it. Well, here it is. It's stuck right into it, as you can see, and also stuck into the wood, which you've seen when I threw. And it's uh, it cut right down through it. Heck of a way to open a can, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, that's pretty doggone good strong for cans these days. That's pretty doggone good strong can. What we're going to do now is we're going to take all of these that I've got. There's eight of them. And we're going to see what we can do as far as sticking them from competition distance of around 13 feet and uh, we'll just see how fast we can get them in there and well, we'll just see. You're right beside me but I've got you zoomed in and throwing these and getting them stuck in there all together is a little bit tough because they're different designs as you've seen so they're different weight and uh, they're going to be tough to get and I'm trying to throw them into a grouping of some sort but also miss but you know just trying to do it I did it so that's a pretty tough throw to get that like that as, as you can see it's a very very tight grouping uh, I'm going to take you up there just a little while well, you're pretty doggone close see if I can get you in any closer there you can see there bounced you back and forth and once come back here don't want to do that I want you to see how close and tight those are and uh, that's kind of tough to do because they'll hit one another so if you're trying this uh, be careful with it uh, plus they're they're very very sharp so I'm gonna get them out of there and we're gonna go back there to the table well I pulled three of them out because that's all you need to see anyway you don't need to see that whole pile but as I said you can see how much different the design is on each one these are similar they are definitely similar, but this is shorter, this JXE, JXO, and uh, it's also the lightest weight of the bunch. This is, I don't know, probably the heaviest. It's a little thicker, and uh, that's the cold steel Templar, but it also has much more wicked area here, and it has this point as well that you can stick, but I stuck them like that. Some of those down here, and I looked at them, and they're probably about a half inch apart. So I was lucky to get them in there like that. But that I was trying to throw them. I wanted to get them all on the bullseye, but and I did get uh, I think this one. That's what I pulled up into there. But I wanted to also get them all into the target, and which they were. Um, and that you know, and if you try to throw them all into the same spot, well, I was lucky. Those those were about like this that are still setting up there. So that's. That shows you how these will throw and stick. Now the nice thing about these battle axes, they are a little bit touchy as far as depending on how they're designed. This one, the way I designed it, this point right here, you can get yourself with it, which I have, and I've cut my hand pretty good with it and jammed it in there. But you gotta know how to throw them. You know, make sure you got them down here and don't jerk it back <laughs> if you got your hand of it. That's what I did one time. Um, but this one really, really sticks well. And like I said, this is an Anthurium. It's uh, the Hawk. I think that's what the company originally, or eventually named it was a Hawk. Uh, they were going to call it Eagle. I think they called it the Hawk. Anyway, like I said, I designed this one. 
and this one is quite similar to that design but the points are not as drastic and definitely not this one this is rare for this to stick uh, the way it sticks is if you put the axe this way this will go in first and this might go in and it, it sounds weird but if this goes in deep enough up here this one will stick and this one won't I've had that I mean at different times but it still sticks uh, and you've got your either side so that again that's what's nice about throwing battle axe styles they're just a different way to do than your regular old wooden handled one with the hammer head on the back that's what I call it and your blade on the front now those again you have to stick those with the blade blade only these no you can do them especially when you got two this one has only got the one blade but it's got the point here that sticks too and that just depends on how you throw it what distance you throw it if you want it to stick with the blade and sometimes you turn them this way and then the blade will stick this way with the handle upward so you just have to learn as the different directions that you want to turn them anyway this was just the for the fun of it now one thing i did want to do though is throw one like we did at first at a can and see what it'd do and it uh, stuck into it and cut it for sure so until next time shoot safe throw safe in this situation and have a great day of blinking three and three hawks from 25 feet got it